Back in the Middle Ages, there was a ford across the Rhine near Neuenburg. That is where four families have met up for a holiday canoeing tour. No commercial shipping is allowed on this arm of the Rhine that follows the original course of the river. Known as the Old Rhine, it offers visitors some undisturbed nature, with white willows lining the banks and rare bird species. The water is clear and not too deep. It's a relatively simple river that is perfect for a family boat tour. It's a great way of getting children out into the countryside. If you go on a more difficult river, the kids may be overwhelmed by the mechanics of canoeing. Well, here they can learn it in an uncomplicated way, and they can experience nature up close. The Franco-German border runs along the middle of the river here. But it's not all leisurely going. At the village of Grisheim, there are rapids to contend with. We leave our canoers to paddle on and head for our next destination on the Upper Rhine. Twenty kilometers downriver is Breisach. The most famous landmark of the hilly town is St. Stephen's Cathedral. Construction of the Romanesque church began in the 12th century and continued into the Gothic period in the 1400s. The church houses numerous cultural treasures. They include the monumental fresco called Judgment Day. It was painted 500 years ago by Martin Schongauer. Breisach exemplifies the history of the Rhine as a frontier. The town was destroyed and rebuilt many times. Signs of war are still visible, like the bullet holes from World War II on the church wall. From the cathedral, visitors can look over to the other side of the Rhine to Breisach's sister city, Nuff Brisach. The French garrison town was built to guard the border. After Louis XIV of France lost Breisach to Austria in the 17th century, he commissioned a military engineer, the Marquis de Vauban, to design fortifications across the river. Nuff Brisach has a beautiful layout, an eight-pointed star. That meant there were no right angles in the walls where attackers could hide, so the defenders could aim their rifles or cannon at any point in front of the city wall. The wall itself was eight meters tall and three meters thick, pretty much impregnable back then. The Vauban Museum in Nuff Brisach has a model of the eye-catching octagon with its checkerboard grid of streets and central parade ground. Within the old city walls, Nuff Brisach has hardly changed since it was built. It is now listed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site, along with other fortifications made by Vauban. But now we head back onto the water. The river at the Nuff Brisach and Brisach is the point where the Old Rhine and the main shipping artery, the Rhineside Canal, flow together. For the next 220 kilometers through the Upper Rhine Valley, the Great River continues to be the frontier and the link between Germany and France.